What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one, and today I'm going to be showing off a little bit of the Duel's Cup. Of course, right now, totals are being tallied. I didn't play too much because I only got up to Duel's level 10, but it's all good. We're going to have uh, some more videos for you this week, hopefully. Another pack opening video for the new packs and stuff like that. But in this video, we're going to show off the Duelist Cup, and I use my stun deck in it. Honestly, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it more than the Cash Tiras, just because it was something out of the ordinary. So it was fun, and we're going to show off those videos. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys got. What level did you get to? Did you top it off and finish it off? And if so, let me know what deck you used in the Duelist Cup. But nonetheless, let's hop right into it. Alrighty then, for our first match, we will be going first. And we have a Necro Valley. And they have a Max C, so... Alrighty, we're going to activate the Necro Valley and get the Fossil Dine out there. Set the Dogmatic Punishment and pass turn. Let's see what our opponent has. No special summoning. Okay. Ooh, Moon Mirror Shield. Okay, we're going to get the Commandant out there. Get the Fossil Dyna, put the Moon Mirror Shield on it. Ooh, we're going up against Pearlies, but they can't Special Summon, so they basically cannot do anything. Okay, they don't take any damage. Fine. That is all good. Alrighty, what do they have? What can they do? They are locked it down. They can't Special Summon and again get rid of the Fossil Dyna, so they hit that Surrender button. Honestly, freaking crazy. So... Let's hop right in to the next match. And for the second match, we're going first yet again. Not the greatest hand, but it'll have to do. We get our Fossil Dino with the Moon Mirror Shield, and we set our Skill Drain. Unfortunately, we do need the Fossil Dino's effect, so we are gonna hold off on flipping it. Okay, very weird. What are they trying to do? I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. We get another Fossil Dino. And we hit him. So basically, my skill drain is pointless, I believe. They're playing with vanilla monsters, so I can't do anything either way. Okay, they attack me. But they take damage. I don't know if they don't know what Moon Mirror Shield does. It's all good. Gonna hit him with both of our Fossil Dinas. And we're gonna pass the turn. What are they doing? Okay. Okay, they're going to attack. They're still going to hold 100. Hello? And this is probably the only time you'll ever see this. I could take them out. Okay, we're going to activate the Necker Rally, and we are going to nib. We're actually going to tribute for Nibiru. Because we need to deal 3,000 damage. So that's what we did. Hit him and finish off the game. Honestly, that is the first time ever I think I've ever had the tribute for Nibiru just for the damage. It was crazy. Normally never comes out that way, but it is what it is. So let's hop right in to the last match. And for the last match, we have a very long match. So make sure to stick around and check out what happens because it's pretty crazy. So we're going to activate Necro Valley and set the Imperm. We did not have the best hand here. Ready? They're going to be able to exceed summon the blast dragon. We're going to imperm it because we do not want them to special summon anymore. Okay. We, they end their turn. They can't do anything else. So let's see. Iron wall. We're going to harpies. Get rid of that back row. And we're going to regeki. Get rid of the monster. Okay, we're going to set Imperial Iron Wall and pass there because we don't have any other cards. None whatsoever. They don't have anything either, so they pass there. Alright, please. We just need a monster. Okay, Dogmatica. We're going to set it and pass the turn. Okay. What does our opponent have? Nothing yet again. Very interesting. Okay, Pot of Extravagance. Feels bad. That's going to go to one. Alrighty. Oh, okay. There we go. We get a monster finally. Galacta Rebo. Are you serious? Okay. 
We're going to Dogmatic of Punishment that. And I should have red, and I could have Imperial Iron Wall. And this would not have happened, but guess what? Yo boy does not read. Now we're kind of screwed right here. We are kind of screwed, so let's see what happens. I'm going to battle, get rid of our commandant. Feels bad, my dude. Alrighty. We're going to Pot of Extravagance. Get our Swords of Concealing Light. Spiral Galaxy. Okay, we're going to Kaiju. And set our Dogmatica Punishment. Alrighty, we're going to activate our Dogmatica Punishment. Get rid of our Kaiju. Hold on to our damage. Okay, Moon Mirror Shield. I am not drawing any monsters. We're going to set the other Iron Wall just to try to debate it, but will it work? Probably not. So we're just going to try to keep it going. Let's see what else we could get. A Nib. Okay. Sick. Still not a usable monster. Come on. Okay, Galaxy Trance. Okay, they can't do anything. Cool. We are going to be able to get the Photon Advancer on the board and start hitting me with a thousand damage. And that is not good. Okay, we got the Fossil Dino. No more special summoning for you. Okay, activate the Moon Mirror Shield. Alright, we're gonna end our they're gonna end their turn and let's see what we can get. The Emperor and we're gonna set it right there in the middle. Hit him with the fossil dino. The Regeki, no, we don't have any more monsters. Are you kidding me? Well we have more, but not currently. We can't get it back because of Necro Valley. It's all good. We stumped some of their attempts out as well. Lava Golem? Cool, they don't have anything either, so. But now they can't special summon, so if they do do some special summoning, I can either nib or lava. But they have nothing. They send another face down. Cool. Moon Mirror Shield. Fantastic. Can't do anything with it right now. Okay, okay. We're going to imperm that. They're going to photon change. Okay. You know, with the special, the jumper. Okay, that's three, four. We're gonna let them use their effect. Five, and hit him with the nib. Let's go. Perfect. Set the token. Okay, they get the galaxy cyclone. Okay, destroy. That's fine because it was a ju just a debate. If they hit the Necro Valley, that would have been more painful. Okay, we're going to Fossil Dyna. Activate Moon Mirror Shield on it. Hit the token. And then hit them for 3,000. Alrighty. We're going to end the turn. And let's see what they can do. No special summoning. No ne Necro Valley. Ah, they surrender. <laughs> Holy moly, that was a crazy back and forth. Very mellow, very... I stunned them, I guess, a lot, and they couldn't do anything. So, let's hop right in to the deck list. And for the deck list, we have it on screen right now. Three Commandants, Gravekeeper's Commandants, three Fossil Dinas, three Inspector Borders, two Chaos Hunters, one Lava Golem, two Sea Turtle Kaiju, three Nibs, one Dark Hole, one Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, Two pot of extravagance, but of course this is gonna be knocked down to one. Three moon mirror shields, three neck neck valley, two swords of concealing light, three imperms, three dogmatic punishment, one skill drain, and three imperial iron walls. For the extra deck, you really don't need anything. I didn't don't use anything except for the Entis for dogmatic punishment. You need three of those and have a big monster in there so you could basically take out any of their monsters. Honestly, it was super fun. And again, let me know what you guys reached, what level you reached, and what deck you used to reach it. But I hope you enjoy. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. But I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace.